when I do my plans, I do a lot of checking with AutoCAD. And so I set up these layers that are all caps as my AutoCAD layers. And so like AutoCAD block is usually where I bring in something like a floor plan. And so I'm going to kind of go to the other side of the sheet here, but know that I'm trying to insert on this block and it just won't do it. So this seems to be a, a fault in the program um, that I could use a fix. So I'm going to switch to the other half of my screen. <clears throat> and while I'm here, I go to file and I go to import, go to my DWG, hit next and browse out to the file. And we'll be in these ones that are purged files. So they're all kind of cleaned up. Um, so there's limited information from the AutoCAD drawing. Um, so I can bring in as little as possible. This is what I need. So I'm going to say open here, then only import to CAD. It pretty much defaults to that one. Here, I'll off, check off some layers that I don't need. Um, and that one, that one. Uh, these are. And any hatch patterns, I don't want to see those. Second. Um, usually I turn off this junk layer, which is a general layer. Um, but in this case, I kind of want it because it's my center line to plant this thing. And that has to do with the way that my walls are forming. And we'll get into that in some other time. But right now, I just want to show this error. So I'm going to say this. Now I'm going to choose this layer. And this is where it goes wrong. I'm going to say I want it on the AutoCAD block layer. I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to say I want to replace the block that's in the plan with the duplicate. Hit next. And move it to the origin. It's fine. It won't be in the right place. But I can move it point to point. So now you can see it shows up here. But if I let's just block it just to keep it together. For now, although I could easily have reblocked it because it did land outside of my, my drawing itself. Um, but for the sake of this, if I look on my other screen real quick, I'll show you that this layer is turned on in the layers that I'm working with, and CAD default is turned on. When I click on CAD default, I go back to the other screen, it's gone. And the reason it's gone, I want to turn CAD default back on, is because when I go in here and I open that, and then I come over here to my line style, you can see, even though I told it to put it here, it didn't. And that's common. If I pick any of these layers that I set up for doing my ceiling framing, my floor framing, my sections, that sort of stuff, um, this is an as built, so I we're going to be placing trusses in between the ceiling joists without removing them. So I need to know exactly where they are. So that kind of thing, they're not evenly, perfectly evenly spaced, that kind of thing. So I really need this information, but every time I import one of these, it just puts it in the CAD default layer, regardless of what I ask it to do. So um, I'm going to say move it over to, the, to there, and now it's moved it. Well, that's a pretty easy fix, but um, so now I can turn off the CAD layer in the other window or the other half of my screen there, and it stays on because it is now in the correct layer. So I can just pick my layer sets, um, such as I've got working with the AutoCAD on and working with it off, so I don't have it in the background when I don't want it. And it's nice to have these all caps because it just is I can find my AutoCAD stuff that I don't use super often but uh, I need it for reference here and there so that would be something uh, I'd recommend that uh, we figure out what's going on with the programming there and see if you can get that one fixed this is Mark with Monster Design thank you